Uh, well, welcome everybody to the Stanley Hotel and uh, welcome to room 217. Out of all the rooms at our hotel, this is probably the most famous and the most infamous. Um, the story for 217 really goes back to June 25th, 1911, when the uh, power went out to this hotel for the first time due to a flood, and F.O. Stanley, the founder of our hotel, started up a backup system for lighting, which was uh, settling gas lanterns in every room, and there was a leak of acetylene that built up in room 217. That night, our head chambermaid, Miss Elizabeth Wilson, entered room 217 with the lit candle to turn on the lights, and she set off an explosion. We lost 10% of this hotel from that explosion. They found parts of this hotel half a mile south of here, and a local church service in town said in the paper the next morning they saw a bathtub fly up in the air. And Miss Wilson survived it. You see, Miss Wilson actually uh, shot from the entrance to room 217 down to the first floor where she landed in the dining hall and survived. They had to take her that night to the nearest hospital in Longmont on a dirt road during a flood to save her life, though. And Miss Wilson was in a coma for two days. When uh, she woke up, Miss Wilson came back to work at the Stanley about 18 months after that. And Miss Wilson worked here from uh, 1913 till 1950, when she was 90 years old. And we think Miss Wilson still works here today because we believe Miss Wilson is the spirit that is present in room 217. Uh, everything we know about Miss Wilson in 217 to this day is very helpful. She's actually not that scary. The most common thing that happens is that people wake up with things tidied up, even though they left them dirty through the night. People have said that they will find their clothes unpacked and folded and put on the bed. We've had people find their shoes rearranged. I even had one person say they woke up to find the bed made around them so they, uh, they couldn't get out of it when they woke up in the morning. So she, I always like to say that she is a uh, creepy but well-intentioned. And Miss Wilson is still here to this day. Another story about room 217 goes back to 1974, when Stephen King and his wife spent the night in this room. You see, September 30th, 1974 was going to be the last day we were going to be open for the entire year. And Stephen King and his wife were the only two people to stay in this hotel for the night. So we put them in the presidential suite, room 217, this room. Now, and they were alone in this entire hotel. After a uh, night at the restaurant and at the bar, Stephen King uh, was a little nervous about this hotel, so he actually came back here to go to sleep. And in his dream that night on this bed, Stephen King said he had one of the worst nightmares of his life, that a fire hose from the hotel uh, chased, was chasing his son through the hallway till it started uh, constricting his son and trying to kill him. So King woke up terrified, sweating, and he went out to the balcony in front of uh, this room to have a cigarette. And by the time he was done with that cigarette, Stephen King said he came up with the outline for the novel The Shining in his head. And uh, so this room not only has a great paranormal history, it also has a fantastic literary history as well. And we still offer it to guests available uh, every day at the Stanley Hotel.